An orb was cast unto the earth. After metamorphosing into a wolf, it joins a boy on his bleak journey to find his tribe. It learns and evolves, transcending death, even when those around it cannot. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. And I recently read To Your Eternity. This is a very special read. One, I love the cover and I was immediately drawn to it. And I had heard some great things about this book in general from different uh, friends and social media and other pages and all that stuff. So it's it was mostly a blind buy. I went ahead and picked it up, read it in like two or three hours or something like that it's a very quick light read but it packs an emotional punch this is a beautiful book that really takes its time to examine what it truly means to be alive the significance of life of death of what we go through the journey that we go through from point A to point B and the friends and the journey is what's most important right this book tackles all of that in a beautiful way by having these two characters right here this boy and a wolf of course as i read at the beginning of the video this uh entity this deity this something if you will um cast this orb onto the earth and it transformed into a rock and then transforms into a wolf and just um it wants to learn, it wants to absorb life and the earth and uh, the people and the animals and the flora around it. You get this character that's silent for the most part going through all these emotions and feelings and all that stuff until he finds this boy in this arctic tundra if you will. We're not really told where this character is, we, we just know it's freezing and he's all by himself on this cabin and he's the last one in his tribe and he's trying to uh, find all his friends and uh, family members and all that stuff so he sets out on this harrowing tale journey if you will with the wolf and stuff happens that i really cannot i don't want to talk about it because it's one of those experiences where you really got to read it to understand why it pulls at your heartstrings. You will care for these characters, you will cry, you will feel emotions that you didn't think were possible out of a manga book. And that's the beauty of fiction, that's the beauty of literature, that's the beauty of art, where it can resonate with you and create these emotions within you that you didn't really know were possible. And I really have to commend the mangaka here, Yoshitoki Oima, I hope I said that right, with the usage of light drawings. I am so used to manga being so dark because it's playing with, uh, you know, heavy shadowing and all that stuff that sometimes the effects and the transitions get a little bit choppy or lost in the art and it makes it a little bit hard to follow. But with this, it is really uh, light, beautiful, and just easy to look at. Like, for example, this is something that you would see. It looks very light on the shadowing and it gives you a lot more expressions on the characters and you know it's like shining a light into it you get more uh to me at least you get a little bit more depth and you enjoy the characters in a lighter fresher way plus there's the fact that they're on the uh, uh cold tundra which is all white and there are practically no shadows except at night so I think it looks spectacular. Later on, you get portions like this that are really detailed compared to the beginning part of the manga, but they look fantastic as well. You have some of that beautiful artwork. There's a middle portion where it goes into a completely different territory, but it, you know, it comes back to the main story of these two characters, and uh, that was also pretty damn amazing. And it shows you that like the boy is trying to survive this journey and this other these other characters are trying to survive in a completely different way but the 
thematic element of life and survival and just the beauty of interacting with other people and the nature and all that stuff it all comes back together in one awesome final act that i i, I it had a little bit of everything some action some drama great characters really mysterious characters because you don't know their full intent but you get their emotions and for that reason alone i think uh to your eternity is a book that everybody should read i'm, I'm just gonna say it this is a perfect manga if you I'm not going to say perfect, because nothing's perfect, but you get what I mean. If you want a, a new read on, the, on this journey, and you want to pick something fresh, and you want to feel some things, you know, then go ahead and pick To Your Eternity. I really recommend it. It's super fun. And uh, yeah, it'll get to you, man. I purposely left out some details on the plot because I want you to experience them. It's that simple. To Your Eternity Volume 1, I highly recommend it. If you want a light, easy, but impactful manga read, this is where you gotta go. Guys, as always, thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing here at A Week in Geekdom. Find us on your favorite social media platform. Just type A Week in Geekdom, and I'm there for you. All right, I have got to go. Let me know down below what your starting manga was for 2018, what you're reading right now. Let me know. Write it down below. Guys, I gotta go. More stuff to read. Yada yada. I'll catch you on our next episode.